Hey guys, I have just created a cool little add-on for iScope that I think you're really going to love. Uh, it is for places like bathrooms especially, although it could be used in you know laundry rooms or kitchens even. Uh, but what this add-on does is it allows you to remove things from your measurements um, such as vanities uh, as well as shower surrounds, that sort of thing with just a click of a button. Uh, how many times have you ever been uh, dimensioning a, uh, let's say a five foot wide by 20 foot, uh, you know, bathroom, and you just really wished you could take the footprint out of, you know, the, sh the shower surround or the tub surround or the vanity because it takes up you know 20 percent of the of the square footage of the floor and maybe maybe uh, 15 or 20 percent of the wall space and you know you, you hate to have to go in there and deduct the measurement and 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 if you um, you know, the only other way to do it really is to create two rooms, one room for the tub uh, and one room for the vanity, or just leave the tub completely out. I mean, there's really no good solution. And so what I did was I created a way to add fixtures in really quickly. And by fixtures, I mean like tubs, that sort of thing. And by the way, I don't know if you just saw what I just did. Um, I, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this again. A lot of you uh, who are current iScope users will love this. Um, once you've dropped rooms in, uh, you didn't used to be able to shoot the rooms back into the dimensioning section. You used to have to actually go back up here to the dimensions tab and dimension each room like that. But now what you can do is just highlight both of them, go to add a room, and then you can hide them both, highlight them both again and hit move to grid and it, it adds them right back in. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the, the new add-on. Let's highlight a room. I called it bath one. Let's go over here to the new fixtures button. Okay. And let's pick a fixture. Let's say a um, tub surround. Okay, that's the one I deal with the most. And so I have two of them already pre-programmed in here. Uh, this one here is a 5 foot by 2 foot 10 by 8 foot high. And this is 5 foot by 2 foot 10 by 6 and a quarter foot. And so this is probably the, the most common. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And so it automatically, and I'm going to show you in the programming of it here in a minute, you can add your own uh, pre-programmed uh, tubs and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to show you how this works. This one encompasses three walls, obviously. It's going to be the two end cap walls that are around 2 foot 10, and then the long wall, which is 5 foot. Okay, and so it's going to deduct all three of those walls from your measurements in that room, and it's also going to deduct the footprint of the, uh, uh, the tub itself. And so we have a 5 foot by 2.83 foot footprint uh, so that you're not having to, you're not tiling or, you know, putting vinyl floor underneath the tub. You know, so let's go ahead and go to the next one, and let's click fixtures, and let's decide we want to do a shower surround on this one. So here's a three foot by three foot by eight, and it touches two walls. Okay, and so when we go back in, we can drop these back in there. You can see that I've put replaced tile flooring in there, and you can see where it has deducted the footprint. Okay, of the, uh, I think in this case it was a shower, and it's deducted the footprint of the shower from the walls here. We go back over on this one, same thing. And so it just does the work for you. It's really, really fast to go in there and, and just create the, create the bathroom all in one room, 5 foot by 12 foot or whatever the case may be, and, and just add in the bathtub in just one click. Uh, it's, it makes it so much easier, so much faster. Let's go ahead and go see how that gets done. We're going to go into the Global Preferences under the Configure tab, and I have a new tab here. It's called Fixtures. And so you just come right over here, and you can add uh, a fixture group. And so let's go ahead and look at Tub Surrounds. And then you come over here. Here's Tub 1. Here's Tub 2. And I could add another one. Let's go ahead and add it and call it Tub 3. And the length, let's say, uh, let's say we had a six foot one, and uh, depth 2.83, two foot 10, and height, let's call it seven foot. So let's go ahead and just add that, and there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Save and exit, and it adds it right in. 
Let's go ahead and go back over here. Click on fixtures. And temps around. And you'll see right there, tab number three, six foot, 2.83, and height is seven. And so it's really that simple. And I really hope you guys like this new, uh, new add-on. It's not available in, in download yet uh, at the website. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it is, it's, since it's brand new, I like to beta this with some of my users first just to make sure it's completely error-free. I've been playing with it for a while, and I haven't had any problems. And so uh, uh, any of you guys who are uh, beta testers for me, uh, just shoot me an email, and I will shoot you out the update. And like I said, it comes with that uh, uh, other update where it will, you know, push these over into a uh, uh, into a room for you, uh, or excuse me, into the back into the dimensioning grid. Uh, also, I want you guys, while I'm at this, uh, at every opportunity, I want you all to take a look at my screen. Okay, uh, my screen has a ton of real estate on it. You'll see how how how, how much information you can see on my screen. Uh, some of you don't see this same screen. Y'all have a lower resolution. Uh, I encourage you guys to, when you're purchasing, you know, new laptops, a new desktops, or whatever, uh, to get a laptop with the highest resolution possible. If you can, uh, if you can bear it, because uh, it will make your use of iScope a whole lot easier to be able to see everything and not when you have a lower resolution then iScope has to put these little slider bars in and stuff and you have to slide up and down and left and right and you know it's just no good so uh, you know just shoot me an email if you'd like to beta test this new function and there's a there's probably eight or ten other functions that are they're going to come at you at the same time that I haven't told you about uh, but there, there's some really cool stuff in there So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, shoot me an email if you need my help. Thanks.